Hello. What a delight to meet you. Hello, David. Nice to, to see you. you. Nice to see you. I've heard a lot about you. Now, I've got a question for you. Mm. Why do people buy dolls? Why do they collect antique dolls, Carol? I think it's something that comes from childhood. Right. If you've had a lot of dolls given to you as yeah. a child, you you get to like them. I think it's the same with men with toy cars. But I think you're right. And yeah. real cars as well. Yes. Yes. My um, father bought me dolls from the word go. So Right. Um, so I've always loved them. And so this is your collection? It's part of my collection, yes. Part? How many have I've you got? got I had about 400, right. um, but I've sold quite a few. Um, I've got a, um, cabinet, two cabinets in Oxford. Oh, right, at Antics, Antics on, high. on High. Yes. And this one here. So I'm selling off my collection because I want to downsize. I see, okay. So I'm keeping my antique dolls, but I'm selling off my 1950s, 60s dolls. Okay, so tell me, which are the most popular here in Taunton, would you say? In Taunton, um, I think the hard plastic dolls, they're the ones that I've sold the most of. Hard plastic, now explain what this that is, is. These dolls are hard plastic. Right. You can't squeeze them, they're not vinyl. Oh, I see. This Can I have a feel? Can I have a feel yeah. of that? Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. This doll is a later doll and she's vinyl. Oh, you can and squeeze them? You can them. squeeze them a bit, you can squeeze her arms. You okay, see. so the hard plastic pieces here, but what kind of date? They're from the early 50s. Right. And then in 1957, vinyl was introduced. Oh, I see. So is that a good way of telling an age then? If yes. they're hard plastic, yes. they predate 1957, yeah. is that right? Uh, yes. Now this That's one... a good tip. Very good tip. Came from nowhere, that. Yeah, she's hard plastic. Right. But she's got vinyl arms. Ah, so, so she's like I a crossover. She, yes, yeah, so they, they're called transition dolls. I like that. Because all the doll companies didn't want to... Um, they had to have different moulds for vinyl. They didn't want to go full I steam see, ahead I because see. they didn't know whether vinyl dolls would take off. So you often find dolls with, that have got like a head hard plastic and a vinyl body or vice versa. I see. So that would date her to like 57, 57 58, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah. What a really good tip. I didn't know that. So. I'm going to use that tip. On Lovely. the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> oh, Antiques, Antiques Roadshow. I don't even do the Antiques Roadshow. Why did I say that? <laughs> I so do Antiques Roadshow. Right. was when vinyl was introduced. Got you. And vinyl dolls have got rooted hair. But the hard plastic dolls, because they, they couldn't root, do the root because the plastic's too hard, they've all got wigs. Okay, hang on. Stop there. We say rooted. So you can sit through the holes you in the head. You can see the holes in the head. Okay, yeah. and then let me have a look at the hard plastic. It's a glued on They're wig. Glued on wigs. The hard My plastic. goodness me, Carol, you are full of fantastic she's tips. Hard plastic, so she's got a glued on wig. You're she's very a pedigree good. Pedigree from the early fifties. And talk to me about prices. So let's go to the hard plastic dolls here. They're very big, aren't they? Yes, they what are. What sort of big. money are they? Um, I've only got them on for thirty pounds. Really? Yeah, they're no and money. they're 70 years old. They're no money, yeah, are they? because I want to, to downsize my collection. Okay, let me see if I can test myself here. So we've got two dolls. Yeah. They're both hard plastic. Yes. Um, they, one's white, one's black, but they are absolutely identical, aren't they? Just, they're just painted different colours, I think. Yes, you can look at the faces. Yeah. Well, I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Why would you do anything other? Okay, so these will be 1950s then, am I right? Yes, because they're hard plastic, so they would be pre-57. Very good. Now this one, she's vinyl. But she's, she's made by Rosebud, and she's 1950s, but this is one of the first vinyl dolls. Oh, I see. So but I think you can see also by the facial expression and the hairstyle that she's, that she's 1950s. 1950s yeah. Wow, you're very good. So, I love this knowledge. <laughs> now, this is knowledge that has been collected over a lifetime, I'm yes, guessing. Yes. Have you been collecting dolls forever? I've been collecting dolls since I became an adult and I could afford to buy my own Yes, dolls. which is often the way, isn't it? Yeah. But, now, um, this one looks quite an early one yeah, to me. She's, she's um, by a company called Ernst Heuback. She's German. Ah, and German's she's good. she's 1910. Oh, she's Edwardian. Yeah. Let's have a look at her. Yeah. Okay, let me have a... So you've taught me quite a lot. So that face is, is not plastic, is no, it? No, it's 
it's like it's a, a pot, painting. isn't it? It's like a pot doll. They call them pot dolls, and and her body's made of pottery as well. Okay. Now the hair, of course, will not be. Um, it's a wig, and it's. It won't be stuck, stuck in on. in little holes. Yeah, so it's no. a wig. Okay, yeah. very good. So nineteen ten. Well, she must yeah. be expensive. How much is she? I've only got sixty pounds on her. Sixty quid. Yeah, Carol, you're missing a trick here. Because. Surely I'm, she's worth more than sixty. She is, but my my aim is to downsize my collection, so right. I don't want to charge too much, and then they sit there for a long Forever. time. Forever, okay. But I don't want to give them away either, so well, I think fair my enough. prices are moderate. Very good. Now, yeah. how long have you been here at Antiques on High in Taunton? I've only, only been since June this year. Right. So what, four, five, coming out five months. And how are you doing? Are you selling vintage and antique dolls? I am. I am. I'm doing quite well. I've cleared quite a big space in my house um, because I've sold quite a few dolls. So yes, I'm doing really well. And in particular, I'm doing well in Oxford. Right, are you there as well? Yes, I've wow. got two cabinets in Antiques on High. For someone Oxford. who's downsizing, you seem to be like on fire. You're like yeah, a, a, yeah. a international yes. doll dealer. Yes, <laughs> I don't. I don't consider myself a dealer. I'm more of a trader because I don't buy dolls yeah. from people. Ha put it this way: if somebody offered me a doll, or I saw one in an antiques market that I knew was more valuable than it's priced, I wouldn't leave it there. Yeah. But I'm not going around searching no. to buy dolls because it, the well, you you have 400 dolls or thereabouts, yeah, and this is just yeah. a tiny collection of, isn't it? Well, how very interesting. Carol, wonderful. Great to meet you. And thank you for those top tips. Really yeah, valuable. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>